Hi, it's Stephanie again. Let's discuss single rescuer AED use for the healthcare professional. AED stands for Automated External Defibrillator. If you encounter a patient in cardiac arrest, first check scene safety and alert EMS, then don personal protective equipment such as gloves and a mask with a one-way valve. Check for a response by asking the person if they're all right and tapping them on the shoulder. Look for signs of normal breathing and check for a carotid pulse simultaneously for no longer than 10 seconds. If there is no pulse, turn on the AED machine and follow its instructions. Remove the patient's clothing to expose the chest and attach the pads as indicated on the diagram, one on the top right side of the chest and the other one on the left side in the mid-axillary line just below the breast. This ensures that the heart is in the middle of both pads. Plug the pad cables into the AED machine. Do not touch the patient while it analyzes the rhythm and make sure that everyone stands clear. Push the flashing button when indicated to deliver a shock if recommended by the AED. Begin two minutes of CPR or about five cycles. Give 30 compressions over the pads at a rate of 100 to 120 beats per minute and two to 2.4 inches deep. Next, using the rescue mask, tilt the head and lift the chin and deliver two rescue breaths looking for the rise and fall of the chest. The AED will inform you when two minutes is up and reanalyze the patient. Follow the AED's instructions and continue CPR until EMS arrives or the patient becomes responsive. Scene safety is especially important when using an AED machine. Make sure to check your surroundings for any combustible gases or liquids to prevent electrocution. Another important thing to consider is what the patient is wearing. Underwire brass should not interfere with defibrillation, but if you are concerned, you can unbuckle it. Move any necklaces aside, and any other jewelry such as piercings can stay on as long as they're not in the way of the pads. If the patient is a victim of drowning, they can stay in their wet clothes, but make sure to dry off the chest before applying the AED pads, and that they're not lying in a pool of water or submerged. Remove any skin patches such as nicotine, nitrogel, analgesics, and birth control only if they're in the way of where the pads need to go. There are no contraindications for using an AED on a pregnant woman. There are two patients involved and saving the mother can also save the baby. The fact that the mother is in cardiac arrest means that the baby is at risk, so aggressive resuscitation attempts can only help improve the situation. This concludes the proper techniques for adult AED use. Thank you for watching.